around fly box. Today we're going to tie a wet fly that's done well for me for a number of years. It's called the blue rooster. Let's go over how we tie it. I start out with a size 14 Orvis tactical wide gape hook and 6 aught black uni thread. And we're going to start our thread. Work our way back. And we'll work the thread back to a point just uh, this this hook has a little bit different curvature so uh, we're going to take it back to the end of the level shank at this point we're going to tie in two moose body hair and what you're looking for is a moose body hair with uh, that goes from the fine black tip to the thicker cream you want that cream and I'm going to even the tips and then cut off the first basically half inch and we'll tie that in on the side of the hook bring our thread forward wrap it down and then build an even body and we'll take it just slightly down into the curve curvature just to where it makes the body of this fly look like it's right about there it's just uh, it's just starting to curve down and then make sure we got a fairly even abdomen up to a point of about two eye lengths behind the eye At this point you're going to take your two fibers your two hair and you're going to work it forward now they'll spread out a little bit. I do this by hand rather than with uh, hackle pliers. And they'll split slightly, but they'll just naturally also fall in to the gaps that they leave, the forward one leaves. I do this by hand because they can be fragile when tying in. And hackle pliers tend to not give away, give the leniency that your fingers do. And they're fragile being tied in. However, they um, they're going to be coated. So at that, after once they're tied in, they're good. All right. At that point. I bring the hair up to the front. I give a quick two turn whip finish so my thread doesn't bounce around when I'm applying the bug bond and, uh, and release that material. Next, we're going to apply just a very small dab of bug bond. I apply it to the top. And I take my bodkin. and I make sure that I coat the entire abdomen and I, I apply it by sweeping it to the front I don't want a thick tail section of this abdomen I want it to look slightly tapered if you sweep it to the back you tend to get the opposite effect and once you got the coating hit it with the light and this will cure pretty quick. I like to give it a little bit extra just to make sure. Okay. And then once that's cured, I bring the thread and I make sure I got a, a solid base. So I don't want anything sliding and then I bring my thread back to the beginning of the abdomen. The next material you're going to tie in is a rooster ringneck pheasant rump feather and we're looking for the rump feather specifically that have this bluish tipping to it. It's a gray blue tipping and the heavy barring and what we're going to do is we're going to strip back
we're going to strip back the material that uh, that we don't want and we're just going to get this wing that you see right here. You want it to be approximately the length of the shank and extend out to the bend of the hook. I trim the base and then I tie it in just a little bit towards me and then rotate it over. And what you're going to do, unless you cut it too short like I just did, is you're going to pull it second here. That's what I get for cutting my fingernails. I can't grab the base so we'll pull it back to about where I want it. Normally I'll pull it and slide it but without fingernails to grab onto it doesn't work as well. You're gonna tie it in as a downwing And trim off your excess. Leave a little bit longer butt end, you can grab it and pull it. And the reason that I uh, I tie it in a little long is, or I tie it in towards me, is it's got a natural tendency to want to um, to want to rotate no matter what you do. That little that feather just wants to move on you. So by tying it in towards me it just levels it out and once that's in place the next material you're going to tie in is a silver badger hen hackle the fibers are going to be the length of the fly or the the hook just short of the wing I use Brahma hen silver badger Brahma and you're going to tie that in as well on the side of the hook with your trim the butt end and then you're gonna get usually two th two turns of this hackle two full turns is all you need and you're gonna bring it up behind the eye and tie off I get three turns. I don't worry if I crowd it slightly because I'm going to sweep it back. I'm not just going to leave it. And I'm going to wrap back into it for my head. Push that hackle back into a cone. my best not to trap any fibers that I don't want trapped. Looks like I got one in there that I wasn't able to avoid. And then we're going to give a quick whip finish. And I like to fish this fly as a standard wet, swing it, um, I will fish it with a split shot at times, but generally not. And if I see that there are uh, fish are rolling on top, this fly does very well if you, um, if you grease your tippet and keep it in the film. there it is the blue rooster very effective wet fly for me I love it in the brook trout streams and uh, 
It works well year round. Hope that adds to your box. Good luck. See you in the war.